I'm Richard Grossman, and I'm a longtime healer. I work with Amazonian shamanism, Amazonian plants, as well as Chinese medicine. How does healing work? Well, you know, there's many layers of healing. There's physical healing for which you need care, generally. Often the body will heal itself. Paracelsus, a, uh, I think a 14th, 15th century, I don't remember, but a long time ago, alchemist said that the job of the physician is to entertain the patient while the patient's body heals itself. And in a way that still can be true in many circumstances because the body has an innate desire to heal. The body has an innate built-in mechanism to heal. And that gets subverted by many things, by lifestyle, by the toxicity that we live in or take into our body, by thoughts and habits and not exercising enough, all of the stuff that we all know, you know, can help the body to not heal if we don't do it properly. Doing those things help the, helps the body to heal. On an emotional level, healing is deeper because, you know, as I've spoken of, forgiveness is key to the healing of the emotions. And a beautiful thing happens when there's forgiveness is that there's freedom an emotional freedom. The, one of the most amazing, in fact, probably the most amazing chemical factory in the entire world is the brain, because the brain is continuously making chemicals that, messenger molecules, that communicate to our entire body. And, you know, if you have a thought of anger, it communicates, get ready to fight to your body. If you have a thought of peace, communicates, ah, you know, to your body, things are good, things are restful, you don't need to be stressed. And that's a natural way to jumpstart healing in your body. You know, there's a, there's a thing I call the medical curse, is when somebody goes to a doctor and the doctor says, I'm sorry, you're going to die. You know, what happens to a person when they hear that? Is that all of the brain's messenger molecules start acting in accord with that curse, with that nocebo, the opposite of a placebo, which is something you think that might help you, that helps you. This is a nocebo, where the mind just starts making chemicals, catecholamines, things that I don't have to really go into what they're called, but things that are negative influences on, on health. So healing, to be effective, has to deal physical, emotional, mental, psychological and spiritual, which is the connection to oneself, the connection to, if you wish, divinity within. And, you know, will, will somebody who does all those things overcome a deadly disease? Maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say. But will they be able to face whatever it is that they're facing in more peace, in more kindness, in more beauty? And that's part of the goal of healing, you know, to give, create a field, create an environment where the body, mind, and spirit can find more peace, can find more healing. And, you know, if you're taking a medicine, be it an herbal medicine, a homeopathic medicine, or, you know, a allop allopathic medicine, if your mind is working with the medicine, if your heart's working with it, I would say that there's a much better chance of succeeding, you know, than if your mind is giving you messages of doom and gloom and despair, you know. So, you know, in a big way, why not face an illness with joy? Why not? If you're going to face an illness, you're going to face it anyway. You're going to face it with despair and and, you know, failure and all of the negative things, you can face it with joy and hope. Even if you don't recover, you'll have a much better time in those whatever moments or days or weeks or months or years you have left to live on this planet.